Tony Draper, Vice President of the NAHT, wrote to me recently and said, in our recent Ofsted, we became an outstanding school. Through Odyssey, we went on a journey exploring our values, shaping our story. We're now a strong team, passionate in our approach and confident in our ability to make a difference. Welcome to the Odyssey Project. And the purpose of the project is to raise levels of achievement for every child from early years to key stage five by creating greater levels of engagement and involvement in the classroom. This will happen when children start to exercise their choice to learn, which emerges when they find meaning and purpose in their learning in the classroom that they can apply in their wider world. This has nothing to do with the content of the national curriculum, which sadly has little place in the world of many children and no place in the world of some. It will emerge when classrooms move from a place of teaching to a place of learning, when teachers lead the child's learning through the 12 steps of the hero's journey, which create a new story of learning in the classroom. In this new story, the national curriculum ceases to be an end in itself, um, assessing the child's capacity to retain and manipulate information, and becomes the means through which the child explores themselves as a learner and takes responsibility for raising their own levels of achievement. This move will take place when knowledge and understanding are rediscovered in the information in the curriculum, where it sometimes gets lost. In order to deliver Odyssey throughout the school, there is a paradox that needs to be better explored, which is that in order to deliver the political expectations that are placed on schools, schools need to rise above them. And to remember the story of education, the meaning and purpose of education, and by doing that, the political expectations will be delivered and a new emotional climate of learning will emerge. Odyssey has been researched through Birkbeck College at the University College London and it's been shown that it brings about this transformational change in schools where they rise above those political expectations and there is a shift in the classroom from one of teaching to one of learning. The research which was done both through the primary and secondary sector found that um, Odyssey led to greater levels of self-awareness, self-esteem, self-belief, the heart of action, that that led to greater levels of motivation and empowerment as people became committed and united around a common shared sense of school meaning and purpose. This led to people feeling a great sense of being part of a group, which is crucial to our well-being, and had a significant impact on relationships that became stronger and more supportive. Odyssey Project creates change in the classroom and the whole school. In the classroom, Stacey Postle, a deputy head at school in Horridge, wrote, the standard of learning and progress has gone wow. Tony Draper, vice president of the NAHT, wrote to me recently and said, in our recent Ofsted, we became an outstanding school. Through Odyssey, we went on a journey exploring our values, shaping our story. We're now a strong team, passionate in our approach, and confident in our ability to make a difference. Odyssey works, creates greater levels of engagement, which leads to greater levels of achievement, and may just change the role and emotional climate of the teacher and of learning. Many thanks, and if you'd like to be in touch and have a conversation about the project, then contact details are available on the homepage. Many thanks.